Aunt Millie's. Now we've all seen Aunt Millie's bread in the grocery store. So how does it get here? To find out, we'll have to start at the beginning. The company was founded in 1901 by J.B. Franke as the Wayne Biscuit Company. Later, it was renamed Perfection Bakeries. In the early 1990s, Perfection launched a new brand to reflect their passion for producing baked goods with home-baked quality and flavor, and the Aunt Millie's brand was born. It didn't take long for Aunt Millie's to become popular. In 2005, the bakery itself was renamed Aunt Millie's Bakeries. Today, Aunt Millie's is still owned and operated by the same family. President John F. Pop is the grandson of the founder, J.B. Franke. At Aunt Millie's Bakeries, we produce delicious Aunt Millie's bread and bakery products, and a few other brands too. Let me show you how. To bake bread, we start the same way you would if you were baking bread at home, with flour. <laughs> a lot of flour. <laughs> Aunt Millie's uses around six million pounds of flour every week. We bring it in by the train load. Speaking of ingredients, one batch of Aunt Millie's Deluxe Giant White Bread takes 1,200 pounds of flour, 450 pounds of water, 110 pounds of corn syrup, 100 pounds of cream yeast, 30 pounds of soybean oil, and 18 pounds of salt. The finished dough can weigh more than 2,000 pounds, or as much as an elephant, which yields 1,200 loaves of bread. You'll notice how loud it is back here. This is the mixing area, and this is where the baking process starts. The flour, water, oil, and yeast are all mixed here for about five minutes. After the dough is mixed, it's dumped into a huge trough and taken to the fermenting area. The dough sits for about four hours until it rises. Bakers call the risen dough a sponge because if you cut it, that's just what it looks like. Now there is enough dough in this trough to make 1,200 loaves of bread. On an average day, Aunt Millie's bakes about 500,000 loaves of bread. Stack up all that bread and you'd have a pile as big as a large two-story house. After the dough has risen, it is taken back to the mixer to add more ingredients, depending on what type of bread is being made. Now, the dough is ready to be made into bread. Using our special bread pan, we can follow a loaf through every step of the baking process. When complete, this will be a loaf of Aunt Millie's Deluxe Giant White Bread. The divider evenly cuts and shapes the dough. Then it passes through the rounder. The dough comes here to be weighed, and then it is placed on a series of conveyor belts. It travels to the sheeter to be flattened. This process removes gas bubbles from the dough. The dough is sealed, rolled into just the right sized loaves, and dropped into loaf pans. Now the loaves need to rise. There are five loaves to a pan, 10 pans to a shelf, and 192 shelves. That's 9,600 loaves of bread rising at the same time. Heat and humidity are carefully controlled so that the bread can rise to the perfect height and consistency. This takes under an hour. After the loaves have risen, they are ready for final preparation. If a loaf has toppings, they would be added here. Back to our loaf of deluxe giant white bread. This bread is now ready to go into the oven where it will bake at 415 degrees for 17 minutes. After baking, the golden loaves of bread are carried out of the oven on a conveyor belt. Then, suction cups carefully take each loaf out of its pan. The loaves of bread travel one mile around the bakery to cool. While this happens, watch out for bread crumbs. After inspection, the bread goes through the slicing machine. The blades are sharpened every hour to ensure that every slice is made to perfection. The loaf is bagged and coated with a freshness date. After being bagged, the loaves are taken to trays. The trays are then stacked and taken to the shipping dock, where they start their journey to your table. Mmm, delicious. And now we have a delicious and healthy loaf of Aunt Millie's bread. This bread, Aunt Millie's Deluxe Giant White Bread, is perfect for sandwiches or toast and is loved by kids and adults alike. Aunt Millie's distributes bread throughout the Midwest. 
Our bread is available at almost any grocery store in Indiana and Michigan, and many in Ohio, Kentucky, and Illinois, including Meyer, Walmart, Kroger, Marsh, and Spartan. Aunt Millie's also serves many restaurants and institutions. This tour showed you our Fort Wayne Bakery, but Aunt Millie's operates five other bakeries as well. There are Aunt Millie's Bakeries in Sydney, Ohio, and in Coldwater, Kalamazoo, Plymouth, and Jackson, Michigan. Aunt Millie's bakes bread, buns, and rolls, and distributes English muffins, bagels, and donuts under the Aunt Millie's name and many other brands. Well, we're back at the store. I hope you've enjoyed your inside look at Aunt Millie's Bakeries. At Aunt Millie's, we love to bake.